Pilipa'a, the Hawaiian word for sticking together, a word that appropriately describes the relationship between Evan La Rochelle and Mamane Namahoi, who have reunited playing for UH this season. Pilipa is also the name of the club volleyball program that both players played for while growing up in Hilo. Since I, we were kids, uh, me and Mamani is basically my little brother. Um, we were everywhere together in high school uh, once he got there. And it's just, it's amazing to be able to, it's a blessing to be able to play on the same team. Uh, you know, it's somebody that you spent so much time with before and then end up reconnecting in this setting is unreal. He's a brother to me. Uh, we both don't have brothers. He's the only child and I'm the only boy in my family. So I would say we'd be like brothers because uh, he was a senior when I was a freshman in high school and I looked up to him at the time. And now I feel like our roles are similar but slightly different because I've been here longer and he's a, a, a freshman this year. Well, you know, starting in the fall, um, as soon as we added Evan to the team, uh, it, was so, it was so funny just to see them like talk pigeon with each other where they would have a full conversation and I would have no idea what they said. Like I didn't even know if they were speaking English or what they were saying. And while the YK High School graduates may have taken different paths to get to Manoa, both feel a strong sense of pride being able to represent their hometown. Omani's been here three years now and he's been through a lot with us so um, there's a high level of comfort on my end about what he can do. And Evan's just a great story, you know, a kid that went away for four years uh, in the Air Force and he's now an adult man and is coming back and giving himself, a, a, you know, taking a shot at, at competing at the highest level collegially. With Being recognized at home was pretty cool and especially the volleyball community was so small. The fact that, you know, I play for Hawaii and they were watching us on TV was pretty cool. You know, we've had so many people that have put heel on the map before, but to be able to do it for myself, I used to look at those guys and, you know, I just idolize them so heavily. La Rochelle and Namahoy are also quick to credit their high school and club coach, Echo Osorio, for much of their success and for helping to develop their passion for the sport. Echo really, he, fo he focuses on technique and then he builds you up on that. Echo really pushed us. Um, they put a lot of time and effort into us in practice in Hilo, and we don't have you know, the biggest facilities or the best resources, but they really like, put their time and effort in, and um, they, they create really good players. We got some really good players out of Hilo. Through it all, these Big Island boys have stuck together and hope that playing for UH and being able to represent their state is something that can provide inspiration for future generations. I, I hope I'm a good role model to the kids uh, off island to look up and like here's a kid from a different a neighbor island that you know he didn't have everything he had to work hard and I hope that people um, who play volleyball off island can use not only me but other people as an example 